Hello everyone. Today we will study on Ape Arts Six. It's important for you to take the learner's packet for this. Lesson three, week three, using technology to design a paper bag and other products. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, like, and write your comments below. Thank you! With the help of modern technology, you can now design for jewelry, shoes, bags, clothes, furniture, bottles, and many other things using the computer. This lesson will show how despite Using technology, the processes, elements, and principles of traditional art still apply. This will be evident in your finished product. Learning task number one. Study the pictures below and supply what is asked. Name the element of art present in each picture. We have three images. Give the principle of art that are reflected in each picture. We have two images. Here are the answers. Number one, we have line. Two, texture. Number three, shape. Number four, space. And number five, movement. It is important to remember that when using technology to design something, you use the same art elements such as lines, shapes, colors, and textures. In addition, the principles of art such as contrast and harmony also apply. You only need to learn the features and options available in the software being used to make the necessary adjustments in your design. Nowadays, you can digitally enhance your design by drawing and printing out some of the design elements. You can print out letters and cut them out to stick to your 3D project. You may also use lines, shapes, colors, and other figures that fit the concept around which your design is based. Learning task number two. Look at the sample of paper bags below. Describe the design in each paper bag. In your description, include the different elements and principles of art that you learned. Write your answers in your notebook. We have three different paper bags. Learning task number two. Tell something about paper bag. Here are the possible answers. Number one, these paper bags have simple heart design. It utilizes the principle of arts emphasized. Number two, this paper bag have colorful floral design. It utilizes the principle of arts variety. Number three, this paper bag have letter design. It utilizes the principle of arts pattern. Learning task number three. Draw a paper bag in your notebook. Add designs that show contrast and harmony using lines, shapes, letters, and colors. Ask help of your parents or relatives in choosing the design that you can apply to your paper bag. Then you may present your work to other members of your family for improvement. This is the rubric. Here are the indicators. All given elements and principles have been used that result in a new design. All instructions are followed. The design is exceptionally appealing. Sample drawing for learning task number three. 
Learning task number four. Paper bag making activity. Materials needed. Scissors. Glue. Print out letters. Manila paper. Brown paper bag. Any coloring material. Any decorating material such as glitters or feathers. Piece of rope. Ribbon. Piece of cardboard or carton box. Here are the procedures. Number one, gather your materials needed for this activity. Number two, look for a brown grocery paper bag in your home that looks like the example below. Make sure that this bag has a height of at least 10 to 12 centimeters. Cut the rectangular piece of cardboard or carton box and insert it into your paper bag to make the base of your paper bag fair. Number three, make holes at the open ends of the paper bag for the handle. Ask help from your parent in doing this procedure for your safety. Then, insert ribbon rope through the holes and not both ends. Repeat the same process on the other side. Number four, Start to print out letters and other design elements like flowers, animal figures, which you will use to design your bag. Use a sketch design and apply it to your paper bag. Make sure to use the different elements of art such as lines, shapes, and colors to show contrast or harmony. This is our rubric for paper bag making. Here are the indicators. Number one, the paper bag is well designed, making use of lines, shapes, and colors to show contrast or harmony. Number two, the finished product follows a well planned concept developed in an earlier exercise. Number three, the paper bag is neatly constructed and made use of appropriate material. Assessment. Learning task number five. In two sentences, give reaction to the statement below. Write your answer in your notebook. Arts has evolved in many ways because of advances in technology. Write your reaction. Here are the possible reactions. Number one, I agree that arts has evolved in many ways because of advances in technology. Number two, because of technology, creating arts become easy and efficient. For your reflection, write your personal insights about the lesson in your notebook using the prompts below. Answer, I understand that blank. I realize that blank. And I need to learn more about blocks. Great job, everyone.